Welcome back to another video guys. Today we caught this in our trap here, baited with mackerel, frozen mackerel. And look at that huge shore, no no, three bearded rockling. That's what we call three bearded rockling. You can see it's three little beards uh, really there. Three little barbels and that's as big as they get before they become record breakers. That is a huge one, biggest one I've ever seen. You can see that there. Almost the size of a small congreal. In fact, they do live a pretty similar lifestyle to congreals. Usually, they go around rocks, feeding on um, anything they can eat. Mollusks, dead fish, um, even small uh, dead or dying fish. And uh, also worms and stuff like that. You can see their huge mouth on it. Wait, wait. Oh, it needs to calm down. Look at its mouth. Huge head, too. Extremely slimy creatures. See that? Little teeth and everything. We're gonna go put him in a rock pool, take some pictures, and get him released. Look at that. He's in a little rock pool here. And look at the size of that. Incredible fish. You can see those huge fins used to glide around in the water. These fish are mainly caught around rock area, rocky areas and piers. And um, mainly around the base of these piers they will swim around, scavenge on anything they can find. Incredible creature of this size here. Biggest one I've ever seen as I said before. So there we have our huge rockling probably just about a pound in weight maybe just under but let's just say a pound in weight incredible models there and huge huge sort of wing like fins and big head and mouth very beautiful creature especially at this size here so we're gonna put him back on the side here He'll go back into the pier, most likely he'll go find a little hole or a crevice and he'll just go bury himself in there and then he'll come out to feed. Um, maybe at night, they're mostly nocturnal creatures, especially big ones like this. So, there he goes. So here we have our second rockling of the day. I think this is a shore rockling, but um, just like the three bearded rockling, they have three little barbels. I think they're called barbels. Wait, let me show you them. See there on his nose. Very similar to their uh, closely related cousin, the three bearded rockling. They're just, they're just um, brown like this typically a lot smaller this is probably their maximum size there about 20 centimeters um, I catch a lot of them in traps actually they are very common bycatch um, in shallow rocky areas especially harbors like this and piers and um, so there you have it there's a little shore rock so here we have our third rockling of today another shore rockling probably their maximum size here they do get bigger on occasions, but this is your typical shore rockling there. Very fast, he's trying to look for somewhere to wedge himself in. As I said before, they do have similar habits to congreals, like living in holes. Um, if you find these guys in rock pools and you startle them, they'll just dart into a hole or a crevice or something or a crack in the rocks head first they'll just dart in there so we're gonna release him but i just want to show you him out of the water look at that there oh wait no extremely slimy very very slimy wow they're almost impossible to hold right see there's amazing colors on its side on its flanks kind of marbled see there a bit like a tiger 
We also caught in this trap um, a velvet swimming crab. You can see immediately why they're called velvet swimming crabs. You can see this one here. As soon as you. I don't want to get nipped because you have more of a risk of getting bitten by a crab while it's in the water because they are after all built uh, to live in the water and they're much more agile and fast in the water than they'd be out of water. You see there? Right, I'll just... A good trick is if you're in a hurry or something you can just press your hand on top of the crab but you want to do this from behind so that it doesn't there. There we go, that's how. And see there. Why they're called velvet swimming crabs is because of their velvety sort of sort of carapace, very like weird feeling. And they've got these typical red eyes like this. And they usually have slightly blue, purple, electric colored claws on the inside and they also have um, red armpits as you can see red orange armpits there this one here is a female you can tell by its um by this here which we call an apron and when it's wide like this it's definitely a female i'm just gonna put him back in a good tip is not to leave rock thing and other crabs in the same place I mean there they've got distance but if you cramp them together the crabs will actually pinch onto the rock thing or other fish and uh, it can be quite bad it can leave scars on these little fish so I like to separate them or give them some distance so that the rock thing can always escape from the crabs crabs aren't very smart they're a bit stupid to be honest and they like uh, nipping onto stuff you see there see these you don't want to mess around with them see the way it's got its still claws there and if that catches hold of you then um, it's not going to be very nice 